rapport and personal engagement or don't start. This is, you're dealing with old boys. How many of you deal with good old boys? Raise your hand. You have to. That's part of the deal, isn't it? I love those good old boys. That's your daddy. Now, I grew up cold calling in New York City. Anybody hear cold call in New York City? Imagine walking in on cold call asking somebody how to your daddy. <laughs> Shoot you, first of all. But I live in the South now. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Very genteel, very gentile. <laughs> But it begins in a relaxed atmosphere. Why am I relaxed today? Hmm? Two reasons. I love what I do, and I'm prepared. If you love what you do and you're prepared, you're always relaxed. Always, always relaxed. You cannot control how friendly the other guy will be, but you have 100% control over yourself. That's the key. You. You win. You, you have control. <coughs> I ask, where did you grow up? I don't ask where you're from. I ask, where did you grow up? And the reason I ask it is because it's emotionally engaging. If I ask, where did you grow up? It immediately makes you think of the house that you grew up in. Your parents, maybe they're alive, maybe they've passed on like mine has but it is emotionally engaging. How many of you grew up in a small town? Raise your hand. How many of you grew up in a big city? Raise your hand. Those are two things you need to know immediately because a big city person is gonna be much less trusting than someone that grew up in a small town. So you immediately understand where your values are as you're moving forward in a sales conversation. Subtle, but very, very powerful. I ask because it's emotionally engaging, not just intellectually engaging. The sale is made emotionally and then justified logically. The sale is made emotionally and then justified logically. You master engagement and rapport when you find common ground and laugh. You have to laugh. It ain't that funny in the economy right now, but that doesn't mean that you can't be at least humorous. Somebody's air conditioning breaks, you bring a block of ice and a fan. That's how they used to do it. You had an ice company come around and leave blocks of ice all over the place, and then they sold fans, and you didn't want to mix the water with the electricity, but you still, why aren't you doing that for fun? Hmm? Oh, you're not having any fun. You're either on your phone or waiting at your desk. So I've developed this work-life-life balance. I'm a family guy, four daughters, four granddaughters, and I watch Family Guy. <laughs> How many of you watch Family Guy? How many of you do not watch Family Guy? What the hell are you thinking? It's like the funniest show ever, ever, ever. And you don't have to watch it on TV. You just go to Best Buy, get a whole year for 15 bucks, and you watch for 20 minutes, which is what an episode takes, and you, you're laughing like hell. That's the problem. You're not laughing enough. Give yourself a laugh allowance every day. Allocate a half an hour a day where you can laugh your ass off. You learn to laugh by watching Family Guy. You're not having any fun. You're either on your phone or away from your desk. Figure that one out. This is not that. Listen, life's too short to take it too seriously. Way, way too short to take it too seriously. <laughs>